It's a glorious day here in Chelmsford, Essex. I'm visiting Cloud NC. These guys claim to be the factory of the future. They're based on artificial intelligence software and I'm going to be speaking to Theo Saville to find out what makes them very different. Theo, thanks very much for the invitation back at Cloud NC. It's been 18 months since we visited you last. Great investment with DMG Mori, another DMU95 and NLX as well. But obviously the world has gone through a massive change over the last 18 months. Um, but tell us a little bit about the journey for Cloud NC. Oh, firstly, Mark, it's great to have you back. And it's absolutely right. It's been an incredibly tumultuous year. Um, but it's one that's thrown up all kinds of the challenges that we relish at Cloud NC. We're all about solving hard problems. So as you remember, Cloud NC is an AI company and we've primarily spent the last 18 months expanding into new markets to discover new challenges to solve and bring that knowledge into our artificially intelligent factory operating system. Our mission is to deliver autonomous manufacturing. You as a customer send one of our facilities a component and the journey of that component from 3D file all the way through to delivery then has no human decision making involved whatsoever. That's the mission that we're trying to deliver. Why deliver that? It's because this industry is broken. You know, it grows at 12% a year by revenue, but it only grows by 0.2% per year as to the number of people entering the industry. So there are very few people left and they're retiring. And on the other side, if I want to get parts, it's going to take me days to get a quote, weeks to get parts. Those parts will often be late. Sometimes they'll be completely incorrect. This simply shouldn't be happening. It should be the Amazon experience. I send the company some 3D files and I get my parts back and I don't even need to think about it. You know, manufacturing has become invisible to me. That's the kind of world of precision that we want to deliver and that's all about software. And I think when you look at the uh, vast investment that you've got here, and I, I'm sure there's more to come, when you look at the size of components that you're machining now, I presume that's taking you into other sectors. Exactly. Uh, it's taken us particularly into automotive and increasingly into aerospace. There's definitely a gap in the market for larger sized machining. And there's also a whole set of challenges involved in machining those larger components from supply chain right through to how does your part warp as you machine it. That's the kind of challenge that we have been building into our autonomous machining tech to understand again so that we can expand much more rapidly and provide a higher quality service to more customers across more industries in large volume machining as well as standard volume machining. And from day one DMG Mori have been your machining partner. Why DMG Mori? So when we originally set out to assess who was going to be our machine tool provider we knew that we needed machines that were advanced, high performing, reliable, IoT capable and available in very large quantities. We needed a supplier who would be able to provide those machines in a way that we can very quickly spin up additional factories filled with 50 to 100 machines each. And for us, DMG Mori ticks all of those boxes. Extremely easy to engage with, very, very high performing equipment and considerable capacity to produce equipment that we need. So this ongoing investment at Cloud NC, is it really to keep offering capacity to the marketplace, Theo? Exactly. You know, what we're doing is we're, we're building that blueprint and that means deliberately going out, buying more machines in order to win more work from the market, discover the problems inherent in that work and solve those problems in a scalable way forever in software so that we can expand ever faster and faster and faster and bring an incredibly high level service to wider and wider swathes of the market. And finally, as your USP, as an AI company, you're investing in machine tools, but are you investing in the software for the future? <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, we have a frankly enormous software engineering team. They've pumped out uh, well over half a million lines of proprietary code, high performance uh, between the factory operating system and the autonomous machining technology. And that is continuing every single day here. There's actually a large portion of the software engineering team on site here today. More than one of these machines is dedicated just to working on research and development to make that software more and more capable every single month.